Guys, a brand new Halo Infinite trailer has just dropped. Atriox and the Banished are back. And the theory is, Atriox is planning to fire the Halo rings. Now from the Spirit of Fire crew, very strange dialogue and other subtle clues. There is a lot of theories and a lot of evidence to unpack today. But guys, first, if you enjoy these Halo news videos, be sure to smash that like button blue. And of course, subscribe. Let's go ahead and watch the video and then break it down. Occupy the ring. Within hours, it will be under our control. Humanity will burn. Their brazen defiance will be all but a memory. No more prophets. No more lies. We stand together, brothers to the end. We are his will. We are his legacy. We are the banished. So first things first is that the YouTube video went up early in the morning of June 24th, and the video itself is named Signal Detected Tag Designation Foe, along with a short description reading, Transmission Intercepted, Unknown Point of Origin. So not that it would be anything else, but the video tags on YouTube indicate that this is Halo Infinite and Banished related, obviously. So let's get into the video. So we start with this really cool cinematic UI opening, which this screen could be somewhere on the UNSC Infinity, maybe a UNSC base on Zeta Halo. And on Halo's Instagram, Master Chief was actually tagged. So I wonder that this is maybe something that Chief sees at some point in Halo Infinite story. Maybe this is coming right from the pilot's pelican. Maybe it's not super important, but maybe it's even coming from the Spirit of Fire. That means that Anders, Cutter, and Isabel, maybe even other prominent characters like Red Team, will appear in Halo Infinite since the Banished appear to be making a big debut in Halo Infinite and will be playing a big role. So first, maybe not super important here, but there is a weird crack on the screen. Just kind of bothering me. I wanted to mention it. But in the video, text comes up saying anomaly, and it basically starts decoding a message. This, this is a message that's been introduced intercepted, right? Moments later, the UI color changes to a very similar red that we've seen in Halo Wars 2, and we hear an unidentified brute, but most likely Atriox, considering what the dialogue sounds like, but the fact that also he sounds like Atriox. But if you're not convinced, take a listen to Atriox's voice from Halo Wars 2 and in this cutscene. So I'll play a comparison, but I'll let you decide. Within hours, it will be under our control. When you can on the ring, take it from the humans. Scout the shell, salvage the- And if we find prizes to bring back, how could that go wrong? So if you haven't noticed in the original trailer here, there is actually just a lot of noise, a lot of static going on in the background. And I will probably come back to you guys with this trailer soon with new information of people decoding uh, things that are being said in the background of the static, if there is anything being said. I just feel like there might be extra Easter eggs here that we're not going to catch for the first week or two. But anyway, let's focus on the brute speech or Atriox's, whoever it may be. They say, the hour approaches, the forces occupying the ring, within hours, it'll be under our control. Now, this is a clear indicator that some shit is about to go down, that there is a massive conflict on Zeta Halo, or some Halo array, but considering we already know that Zeta Halo will play some big importance in Halo Infinite, I am certain that this is where the action is going to be. But this battle could be what actually caused or led to the destruction uh, as seen in in the E3 2019 cutscene, and this may be what actually causes 
Master Chief to be lost in space, this fight with the Banished. And that's where the pilot finds him, and they have to deal with the aftermath of the Banished winning this fight. But you have to wonder exactly how Atriox destroyed Zeta Halo in this theory, because whatever he has at his disposal must be extremely lethal, right? To break off a massive chunk of a halo ray must mean that he has extreme strength in some form or fashion. And if the banished are here, now in conflict with the UNSC and humanity, which according to this brute or Atriox, how will Cortana deal with this? And is she still in power? And also, um, there's actually a little bit of audio distortion right after it'll be under our control. It distorts a little bit. Our control. So the next piece of dialogue reads, Humanity will burn. Their brazen defiance will be all but a memory. So yeah, that sounds like a threat. I would say the Banished probably plan to fire the Halo Rings. Because after all, this is a spiritual reboot, and the Banished are absolutely terrifying and terrible beings. It would make sense, right? If you don't know how I got to this dark theory from the dialogue... Let me explain in a moment. So between humanity and Will Burn, there's actually some audio distortion. I want you guys to take a listen here. Anyway, I guess the theory that the Banished are working with humanity to take down Cortana is out the window, and it probably wasn't ever very likely anyway. Atriox survived the Covenant, after all. Why would he surrender to Cortana or care to work with anyone else, let alone humanity? Here's a really dark theory, though. As I listen to this, Atriox said humanity will burn, and humanity seems pretty inclusive of all humans, right? Not just the humans on this ring, but humanity itself will burn. It sounds like Covenant speech. I mean, that sounds like something the Covenant would say, that the humanity needs to be burned away, right? Well, their brazen defiance will all be a memory, right? So who exactly is going to be burned here? Just the humans on Zeta Halo? Well, no, I think he means everybody, period. And what faster way to eliminate an entire enemy faction to maybe wipe out their entire race than firing a halo ring? There's so much we don't know about Atriox that really we, we probably will learn in Halo Infinite. But right now, that certainly does play a big part in the galaxy and saving everything, right? Because this game is a spiritual reboot, it would make sense that... Atriox takes up the mantle, right? And becomes the the big new threat. The next piece of dialogue reads, No more prophets, no more lies. So if you don't know, obviously, uh, the Banished hates the prophets. They hated the Covenant. They turned against the Covenant and rebelled against them, thus giving the name the Banished. And also, Atriox has a special hatred for the prophets. And instead of prophets overruling everyone, the Banished operates very differently, and they care more about the individual, which was the appeal to all the mistreated and the abused in the Covenant. Now, in this speech, it almost comes off as him rallying his army for one final massive battle, which may be absolutely phenomenal to watch, by the way, in a cutscene form or even playing a part of in gameplay. It's certainly something I'm really looking forward to. So the last bits of dialogue is the most interesting easily. They say, we stand together, brothers to the end. We are his will. We are his legacy. We are the banished. So this last part really tripped me up at first, and I don't think it was supposed to, but just moments ago, Atriox was talking about no more prophets, and yet he starts going on about we are his will, we are his legacy, we are the banished. It could just be uh, any other brute in the banished army talking, doing this monologue here, but that would make sense. But even then, if they are talking about we are his will, then I would assume they're talking about Atriox if it's just a brute minor. But that sounds very close to Covenant rhetoric. We are his legacy. We are the prophet's instruments. I mean, it sounds like cultist speech uh, at the end of the day. But, but anyway, it makes me realize that maybe in the end, the Banished and the Covenant aren't that different. Anyway... Whose legacy are they trying to represent? Is it Atriox's or is it someone else? It could also be this very crazy, far-fetched, maybe 1% likely theory is that the Banished are working with the Flood. 
And that means that basically it's game over. That would be absolutely insane to see the Flood working with the Banished, which I don't think is very possible at all, and I don't think that's the case, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Again, it's all unlikely because, one, the Banished, I mean, <laughs> then why would the Flood work with the Banished, right? I mean, unless they have something that they the, the Flood can't get, which is pretty much nothing. I mean, the Flood are unstoppable under the right circumstances. Maybe the sorry, <laughs> right circumstances need to be made. Maybe that's why the Halo Ring was partly destroyed, but I think Atriox is smart enough not to deal with the Flood, not to deal with the grave mine and thus keeping his distance from him and um not going into that arena although it's it wouldn't be the first time that the flood has actually become our ally temporarily or someone's ally temporarily so as the video comes to a close we get a lot more video and audio interference but this time there's images hidden in here the audio waves on the ui screen show the banished icon and then as the video glitches out we get a big silhouette of the logo as if it wasn't already extremely obvious, the Banished are coming back to Halo Infinite. So what have we learned from this Halo Infinite trailer? Well, I would argue quite a lot. Obviously, the Banished are making their debut in the game, and as I've said many times, Halo Wars 2 wasn't really meant to be a successful sequel to Halo Wars 1, but rather it was just a convenient game to properly set up the events for Halo Infinite regarding the Banished and their entrance into the main line of Halo games. In addition, the Flood, the DLC for Halo Wars 2, also sort of did that, reintroducing the Flood and, and kind of setting the stage for what will unfold in Halo Infinite. And also, certainly, with the Banished being present, then Atriox will be as well. I'm certainly curious about fighting the new Brutes in first-person gameplay. I mean, and also their strategy. Unlike the Covenant Brutes, the Banished Ones uh, Brutes may actually be much more vicious and even better trained for uh, special tactics, guerrilla tactics, and stealth that might improve gameplay and strategy and difficulty for, for players. Now, there is a whole number of ways that 3 for 3 could take the Banished approach in Halo Infinite and how they will properly introduce them into the game, but we also know that Atriox is still after the Halo Rings and are probably the ones that caused the destruction at Zeta Halo, breaking off a piece of it, or at least maybe waging war on humanity on Zeta Halo. Now, it wasn't ever really explained why Atriox wants the rings, but I sense he wants to use it for power. Why exactly? Again, I don't know. We also learned that any theories of Atriox working with humanity, or at least right off the bat here, isn't happening. That might change in the first act sometimes, second act, but maybe in the beginning, no way. So the Brute clearly says he wants humanity to burn. It also seems that the Brute is defining someone's will. Maybe this is Atriox speaking, which if that's the case, I am completely confused, but maybe it's just a Brute Miner. But the way he says we are his legacy certainly reminds me of we are the Prophet's instruments and covenant rhetoric. We also know that Atriox nor the Banished were overtaken by the Flood on the Ark because, well, quite simply, here they are, they've survived, and they're waging a new war. So, yeah. Also, Atriox plans to occupy the Halo Ring, and most likely this is Zeta Halo that he's trying to occupy, and probably big picture stuff here, he wants to use it to wipe out humanity and all other life. Although, you have to wonder what his motive is for doing such a thing, although I think it certainly seems like an interesting premise that we have to stop the Banished from basically walking in the footsteps of the Covenant. Also, with an official Banished confirmation now, then this cutscene snippet here is most certainly a Banished conflict, and they're all probably on Reach as well. So there is just a lot of questions now rattling around in my head. Like, who is Atriox talking to? His army, or is it his fleet? And how big is his fleet now? And why is Atriox waging war with humanity right now? And what does he want with Zeta Halo, or this Halo Ring? Why would he want to fire the Halo Rings and wipe out humanity? along with all living life and what does he have to gain from doing this and what role does the banished have in halo infinite along with cortana and the flood conflict that are soon to arise guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button blue as it would really help boost this video up the search results on youtube and uh, basically helps the algorithm and gets it out to other halo fans that might be interested in this content uh, i had a lot of fun making this video guys and certainly we'll come back to this video soon with new information regarding it but 
Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And be sure to subscribe and join me on the journey of over nine years of covering Halo news. All right, I'll catch you in the next one soon, guys. Peace.